In this short video, we are going to take a look at Netgear's smart managed pro switches in AV over IP applications. Can they do the job? And what happens when you misconfigure? I will show you some nice real life scenarios using these switches in Crestron, MVX, Encoder and Decoder. Let's take a quick look at these smart managed pro switches from Netgear. They are relatively inexpensive switches. They are managed with lots of configurable features through the web interface, but they are limited compared to the M4300 series, which is tailored for AV over IP application. But the question is, will they do the job in simple setups with pro AV equipment, in this case with Crestron MVX? So what's Crestron MVX? Crestron MVX is an AV over IP solution that uses one gigabit per second ethernet. And the AV streams have a relatively high bit rate. The default bit rate is 750 megabits per second. That's 75% of the total one gig pipe. The actual products I'm using, the 350, can be configured as encoder or decoder. So here's the setup that I've created. I started with a Blu-ray player and the HDMI output of the Blu-ray player is connected to the HDMI input of the Crestron encoder. The Ethernet connection of the encoder is connected to my Netgear switch, port one of my Netgear switch. Port two of my Netgear switch goes to the decoder the MVX350 decoder and the HDMI output of this decoder is connected to my TV, a 4K TV. To control and configure things, I connected a laptop to the third interface of my Netgear switch. Finally, port eight of this switch is connected to my existing network, my existing router, which in its turn is connected to the internet. The question is, does my setup work after everything has been configured? And the answer is yes. But I will show you two examples of what can go wrong, what will happen if you misconfigure. But first, let's take a look at the general settings you have to do when you configure an ethernet switch for AV over IP. So here I'm going to list a couple of settings that you may want to do on a switch to use it for AV over IP application. First of all, IP addressing. Maybe a switch has a DHCP server. Maybe there's not a DHCP server in your network or you're using fixed IP addressing. You might want to create a VLAN especially for video and configure routing so that the video VLAN can talk to other VLANs and vice versa. Multicast. If your encoders and decoders are using multicast, which is the case with Creston MVX, there are a couple of settings you have to do. I'm not going to explain them in this video, just list them. IGMP snooping, filter unregistered multicast, fast leaf, and IGMP querier. Power over Ethernet. It's very convenient to power encoders and decoders over an Ethernet cable. In my setup, I wasn't able to do that because the MVX350 require PoE++ and my switch doesn't support this. Jumbo frames. And last, quality of service. So let's take a look at the settings that I configured in the setup that I showed before. My switch doesn't have a DHCP server, so I used fixed IP addressing. I created a VLAN for video. I set IGMP snooping, fast leaf, and IGMP querier. And you might wonder why I didn't set filter and register multicast. This is something that is uh, not configurable on the switch and it's always on, so you don't have to worry about that. So these are the things that I uh, configured to make everything work. Here starts the fun part. We're gonna mess up two settings and see what happens. Let's start with the first example. 
So here we have a video of the setup. Everything is configured, so it's running well. We have the Blu-ray player, the encoder, decoder, network switch, and in the background the 4K TV. And here's the laptop showing the web interface. I've added one component, and that's this iPad showing a live video stream coming from the internet on my existing network. And what we're gonna do now is reset the switch and see what happens. We can see that the video on the 4K TV disappears because the switch is no longer working, but the live stream on my existing network is playing. I fast forward the video because the stream keeps on playing. We see that the stream on the 4K TV is coming back, so that's okay. But then all of a sudden, the image on the iPad freezes. It loses connection. There's no internet connection anymore. As a matter of fact, my whole existing network was down. There's nothing I could do anymore. So what happened here? What just happened was something called multicast flooding. Because I did a reset of the Netgear switch, everything was back to, uh, to default. And by default, all ports of the switch belong to the same VLAN, VLAN 1 which means that everything, my existing network, uh, every port of the switch are all belonging to the same LAN, local area network. And IGMP, IGMP snooping is off by default on the switch. So let's take a look at the setup again to explain further what's going on. The encoder is sending out a multicast stream, in this case 950 megabits per second to the switch and the switch outputs this to the decoder and the decoder wants to have this stream so he can show it on the 4k tv but because everything is belonging to the same vlan and igmp snooping is off this same 950 megabits per second multicast stream is going to the laptop but also to my router and my router tries to push this on the Wi-Fi. So my network, including the Wi-Fi, is completely jammed with this multicast stream. And this basically means that my existing network is down. So if you put this switch into an existing network, add the encoders and decoders without configure anything, you're taking your existing network down. Be careful. Now we go to the second example. We're going back to the situation where everything is configured properly. And we're going to change one thing in the web interface of the switch and see what happens. The thing we're going to change in the web interface is we're going to disable the IGMP querier. And later on, I'll explain what this query does, but let's see first what happens. On the web interface of the Creston MVX decoder, I chose clear route to disconnect the encoder from the decoder. And I'm clicking now to reconnect and start playing the stream again. At the same time, I started a counter on my iPad. You, see, you can see that the video is playing on the 4K TV. I'm speeding up the video to show you what happens later on. And at about 4 minutes and 20 seconds, something happens. The screen is black. The stream has stopped all of a sudden. So what happened here? In the web interface of the Netgear switch, in the IGMP snooping settings, there's a setting called host timeout, which is default set to 260 seconds. That's four minutes and 20 seconds. This setting indicates that if the switch doesn't hear from a host, in this case, the Creston MVX decoder, that it still wants to receive the multicast stream the stream is cut off. 
and this is to avoid unnecessary multicast traffic. However, the host, the Creston MVX decoder in this case, only sends this information after it's being asked to do so. And who is asking for this information? That's the querier. And we just disabled the querier in the web interface. So you, if you ever have a situation with an AV over IP installation where the streams are cut off after a certain time, then you may want to take a look at the querier. If the Netgear Managed Pro switches work fine for Pro AV over IP, why would you go for something like the M4300 or the M4500? The first reason is that by default these switches have all ports assigned to VLAN 1. This is the same as the Managed Pro switches, only in this case uh, they also have in VLAN 1 IGMP snooping, the querier and jumbo frames enabled. And this means uh, two things. First of all, uh, they are pre-configured for uh, AV over IP. Uh, if you take them out of the box, it just works. And the other thing is that you will never have this multicast flooding issue that I showed you before. They have a DACP server uh, built in. They have stacking possibilities uh, where you hook up multiple switches together uh, with an ethernet cable or fiber, and they will act as one virtual switch uh, which is very easy to uh, to manage. There are different interfaces uh, ranging from 1 gigabit, 10, 40 to up to 100 gigabits, uh, depending on the on the model. And this is nice if you have an SDVoE solution that requires 10 gigabits per second per encoder and decoder, or if you have an installation with multiple encoders and decoders spread out over uh, multiple switches, then you need very fast links between these switches. There are lots of other additional features, uh, for instance, a routing protocol like PIM, PIM. Last but not least, uh, they support IGMP Plus. This is a proprietary Netgear uh, feature. If you have an installation with multiple uh, switches and encoders and decoders spread out over these uh, uh, switches, it's very difficult to manage the multicast IGMP streams. And IGMP Plus makes this basically plug and play. This brings us to the conclusion. Smart Managed Pro switches from Netgear and Pro AV over IP, they work very well in simple setups, but configure them first. So don't just take one out of the box and install them in an existing network, add encoders and decoders, because you can get this multicast flooding issue. The M4300 and M4500 series from Netgear and Pro AV over IP are better for more complex installation with multiple switches where you would need something like IGMP Plus, fast links between switches, 10 gigabits per second interfaces for products like uh, SDVoE, encoders and decoders, and in general, if you need more features. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more information or read more e reviews, go to my web website, www.wavepart.nl. Send me an email, jeroen at wavepart.nl, or just comment to this video. Thank you very much.